Hello! So today I'm going to make uh, a basic recipe that I learnt, well one of the first recipes I learnt to make, which is a bechamel sauce. Bechamel is just a creamy white sauce which is fantastic to make uh, anything. You can make it for lasagna, you can make it to make a bake, like a broccoli and ham hock bake. It's one of those recipes, if you know how to do it, you can make anything with it, like in terms of a main meal. Anyway, you need some milk, obviously. You need some butter. So I'm going to add two tablespoons. All you want to do is kind of get equal amounts of butter to flour to make your roux. Roux. It's just a French fancy term for butter and flour cooked together. Now I'm going to melt the butter. Okay, so this butter's melted. I'm going to turn down the heat and add two tablespoons of flour. One, two. And you just want to whisk that in and it will become a paste. So just make sure you stir around the edges. Okay. And then you take your milk and you slowly add just a little bit a bit more. Make sure you get right into the edges. A bit more. So you do it bit by bit and you whisk, you don't get it lumpy. So you just, just if you do it gradually, I think that works for me. come together a nice creamy lump free paste and then I'm just going to add the rest of my milk whisk that in and now I'm going to add my flavoring so I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves like so in that goes a little bit of salt some freshly grated nutmeg And a little bit of white pepper, or you could do black pepper. And then my little twist on it is I'm going to add some nigella seeds. Now normally you would add uh, onion to this, but I'm adding some nigella seeds because it adds that lovely aromatic flavour you get from onions. So that. So you want to turn up the heat and let this thicken to the consistency of double cream. It's a very similar technique to making pastry cream, using a cornstarch or flour to thicken your cream. I'm just going to have a little taste, see if my... bit more pepper. Okay, that looks pretty good. So it should coat the back of the spoon. And that is your basic bechamel sauce. If you were to add a handful of grated cheese, you would have a cheese sauce. You could add a tablespoon of grainy mustard and you would have a creamy mustard sauce. So really simple, great with pasta, great in lasagna or great in my broccoli ham hock bake, which you can check out in my other video. Fantastic. Fantastic.